Hello guys, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified. In this video, we are going to look more on converting decimal numbers to binary numbers. In the last video, we have seen how to convert a decimal number to binary by successive divisions by 2. Such as if you have a number 4 in binary in decimal number system, you can convert this into binary by dividing by 2, such as 4 divided by 2 2 times the remainder is 0 2 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so the remainder is 0 and 2 times 0 and the remainder is 1 so we go from bottom to top which gives the binary value of 4 as 1 0 0 this is in decimal number system and this is in binary number system but there is another way another simple way of converting decimal to binary numbers first of all write the weights of the positions the weight of this position is 2 power 0 and weight of this position is 2 power 1 weight of this position is 2 power 2 so write them as follows 2 power 0 2 power 1 and 2 power 2 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 0 is 1. These are the weights. Now we get decimal uh, 4 in binary as 4. We have a 4 here, so put a 1 here. We got the desired sum 4 plus 0 plus 0. We get back this number this is same as this value we can do more conversions in the similar way first of all let us write the weights 1 2 4 8 let us see how we can convert decimal numbers from 1 to 15 to binary how do we get the number 1 8 is greater than 1 so we don't we can't we can't sum up this number with 8 so we put a 0 4 is greater than 1 so we put a 0 here 2 is also greater than 1 so we put a 0 here and 1 we get it here and for 2 8 is obviously greater than 2 0 4 is also greater 2 0 so what is the idea behind this is 1 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 4 times 0 plus 8 times 0 results this value and 1 times 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 4 times 0 plus 8 times 0 results in 2 now let us see how do we get the number 3 in binary 8 is greater than 3 put a 0 4 is greater than 3 put a 0 2 is smaller than 3 so we put a 1 here and what is remaining 3 minus 2 1 we must get a 1 to make it 3 so we put a 1 here sum up the weights where there is 1 we have 1 in position 2 and 1 so 1 plus 2 gives 3 let us see about 4 the 8 is 0 4 we have got the 4 the sum we have got as 4 so the remaining we can put them as 0 simply and 5 as 8 8 is greater than 5 we put a 0 4 it is less than 1 less than 5 so we put a 1 and 2 is less than 4 less than 5 but we have already got the 4 here the remaining we want is 1 only so we put a 0 and a 1 at 1 so this becomes 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 gives 5 similarly we can do for other numbers as well 6 is 0 1 this this is the weight of this position is 4 
plus 2 4 plus 2 gives 6 and this is 0 and 7 0 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 and 8 we already have 8 in the weight so just put a 1 here and remaining zeros you can go until 15 15 is all ones this is 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 14 plus 1 is 16 now let us observe a very interesting property here in these numbers let us mark odd numbers and even numbers here 1 is an odd number 3 is an odd number 5 is an odd number 7 15 is an odd number now we mark even numbers this is an even number 4 6 8 all the numbers marked with yellow color are odd numbers and marked with blue color all are even numbers the beautiful property here is if you have a if you have a 1 in the lsb position this is lsb if you have a 1 in the lsb position then it is an odd number if you have a 0 then it is an even number how do we how can we conclude this is all the weights except the first one are even numbers and sum of even numbers is always even and if we add a 1 to it it becomes an odd this is the observation that we have to keep in mind why this observation is important is suppose you are writing a program to find uh, whether a number is even or even or odd how generally how we write in c program if x modulus 2 equals 0 then it is even else it is odd this is a typical c program not syntactically right but this is an algorithm to find whether a number is even or odd but at the electronic level hardware level we can improve the performance the fastness of calculating whether an even number or odd number just by looking at this one bit if this bit is 1 then it is odd if this is 0 then it is even this is the essence of computer organization we learn computer organization to improve the performance of the whatever tasks we want to do next i would like to tell you some more observations let us let us write uh, uh, 31 decimal 31 in binary now let us write the weights 1 2 3 sorry 4 8 16 16 is less than 31 so we go for another weight that is 32 next weight is 32 okay how do we get 31 31 is less than 32 so we put a 0 here 16 is less than 31 we put a 1 31 and 16 31 minus 16 is 15 so we we are in need of uh, 15 more so 8 15 minus 8 is 7 so we still need 7 7 minus 4 is 3 we need 3 2 plus 1 is 3 so we got 31 this is binary representation of 31 now let us see 15 base 10 in binary 32 is far greater than 15 so we put a 0 16 is also greater than 15 we put a 0 8 is less than 15 so we put a 1 and 15 minus 8 is 7 we are in need of 7 so 4 plus 2 
plus 1 is 7 this is equivalent of 15 and let next we look for 7 in base 10 this is 32 0 16 is also 0 8 is also 0 and 4 4 7 minus 4 is 3 we are we still need 3 so 2 plus 1 next look at 3 3 for 3 all these are zeros 4 is also 0 and 2 and 1 are 1's the last number 1 base 10 is represented as 0 0 0 0 0 1 and lo now we have a beautiful pattern of numbers formed with these numbers let us observe one thing here 32 31 is 1 less than 32 and this bit is 0 and all the bits are 1's and 15 is 1 less than 16 so 16 and bef uh, the the weights before the to the left are zeros and to the right are ones similarly goes with 7 the weight it is 1 less than 8 so whenever remember in mind that if you observe pat, uh, decimal numbers like this uh, 31 15 7 which are closest closest numbers 30, clo 31 is closest to 32 which is a multiple of 2 and a difference is 1 this number is closest to 16 which is a multiple of 2 and the difference is 1 this number is closest to 8 and the difference is 1 so the numbers like these we have all ones and 15 is 1 2 3 4 7 is 1 2 3 this is one more observation you have to keep in mind because these observations will help us solving in men solving many problems which are useful in computer organization now one more observation one more very beautiful observation we'll look at please remember these values the powers of 2 such as 2 power 0 equals 1 2 power 1 equals 2 2 power 2 equals 4 2 power 3 equals 8 2 power 4 equals 16 2 power 5 equals 32 2 power 6 equals 64 2 power 7 equals 128 2 power 8 equals 256 2 power 9 is 512 2 power 10 is 1024 2 power 11 is 2048 2 power 12 is 4096 now let us see what are what are the binary values for these co this corresponding decimal values the value of 1 is 1 in binary itself the value of 2 is 1 0 the value of 4 is 1 0 0 the value of 8 is 1 0 0 0 the value of 16 is 1 0 0 0 0 the value of 32 is 1 0 0 0 0 0 how am i writing this let us check the weights of each number this is 1 this is 2 4 8 16 32 so this is 32 you have got the right answer and similarly for 64 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 
there is a pattern emerging here also i am telling these all these values because these we are we frequently encounter all these values in dealing with many subjects such as not only computer organization but also in digital electronics computer networks and other subjects as well as well as operating systems while dealing with virtual memory and in cache memory in various uh, forms in one form or the other we will be dealing with mainly these numbers so i would like you to remember this so that's all for this tutorial guys see you next time until then happy learning